I'm Lori Krein, and on today's show, we are going to learn how to make a little mosaic with tiles. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of clay. Now, I'm using Sculpey clay, uh, but you can use any other kind of clay that you find at the craft store that you can bake in your oven, unless you have a kiln, of course, be clay. The other thing you wanna need is some, some rubber stamps. Uh, that may have some words on them. I have a few here that say hope, enjoy, and love. And I also have some beads that I'm gonna use to put into the clay. So if you have any little beads, maybe you have a broken necklace that you don't know what to do with those beads, so you can use these beads for doing today's project. Any other little charms or trinkets that you have laying around that you can embed into the clay. The other thing you're gonna need is a little tool to decorate the Sculpey clay with. I'm using a, um, a nut cracker, a, a nut tool. Uh, I have a roll of uh, wire, and you'll see later what I'm gonna do with that. You need some uh, craft glue. I'm using weld, weld bond. You're gonna need some, some paints. I am using today some gold tinted acrylic paint. It's all water-based. I have some black and I have some antique silver. This is Liquitex acrylic paints in a little bottle. The other thing you might wanna have around is a little paintbrush. Okay, uh, the other thing you need, of course, is a surface to create your mosaic tile project on. The paper that I'm gonna to use to cover the box frame is Lotka paper. You might have heard me talk about this on other shows. It's spelled L-O-K-T-A. The next thing you're going to need is acrylic matte medium. We have, uh, first we need to cut, we need to cut the paper to size. We put the paper down and, uh, and then we put the box on it and then we just cut the corners here like so. There we go. So the next thing you want to do is take your matte medium and you want to cover the paper with the glue. The, uh, the glue just absorbs right into the paper and it gets very soft very quickly. Then all you have to do is lay your box frame or your piece of wood or whatever you're using right on top of the paper. And then you just flip it over like so and you smooth it down. And if you have trouble with the corners, if they don't bend and fold nicely into the corner, you just wet it with, with the glue on the outside on the corners and you just squish it down there. And it will just mold right onto the plastic. It's very, very nice paper to work with. I love this paper. And it comes in beautiful colors, blue and red and yellow, just about any color you could, you could imagine. Now, typically, I will go over the box with the glue again because it darkens. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do it on the top. It darkens the paper. Cover the paper with the glue if you like. If you like the other color, then just leave it the way it was and leave it dry. But the thing is that you want to wait till it dries before you start gluing on your tiles that we're going to make. So for now, I'm going to put this box aside and uh, let it dry a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the tiles that we're gonna use. Now this is the really fun part of this project. So you take your Sculpey clay and so you just take your roller and you just roll it out until you have a nice flat circle or school, you know, however it comes out. So you lay that down and then I'm gonna take one of my stamps and this one says enjoy. I'm just gonna press that right down into the clay and then I'm gonna make one that says smile. So I just push that down right there really hard until it makes the impression. And there we have the word smile. And you wanna leave some space in between when you do these because you're gonna be decorating around, around the words later on. So the next thing you wanna do is you can take a knife or any kind of flat hard surface 
um, sorry, instrument, and you want to cut around the words. So you want to make them into little squares or rectangles. So now we have our three tiles. Now you want to smooth the edges out a little bit so that they're not all chopped up like that. The next thing you want to do is you want to decorate around the edges. And there's a few different ways to do that. You can just simply put some polka dots here with your little, my little tool here. And that just gives it a nice frame on the top. Another thing that you can do is I have these little beads and you can just place these beads. This is just a little bead that I had left over from another project I was doing. And you can just squish it right down into the clay, just like that. And I'm going to take a couple of smaller ones that I have and I'm going to push them right down next to that. So now these, again, are beads that I didn't buy at the store. I had them left over from a necklace I bought that broke. I found some at yard sales. And around this one, I'm going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to decorate it just making little lines. Any texture that you can add to the tiles makes it just all that more interesting. I'm going to put a couple of dots in the corners and maybe a couple down at the bottom. And I have my second one all finished. And then I'm going to show you also another, another trick that you can do to make your tiles interesting. I'm going to just cut a square out of this leftover piece of clay. And this one, I'm not going to put any word on this one. I'm just going to make a design, a pattern on it. I'm just going to take my tool again here, and I'm going to make a grid pattern on here. And now I just have a little tile with a little pattern on it. And you can do anything. You can take a towel or any fabric that has a any kind of a pattern on it and just press your Sculpey against it and it will pick up that pattern and it will come up on the tile. So that's the first thing that you need to do is make your little tiles. Now after you've decorated them all and put your stamps in there, um, you want to put it in the oven. You follow the directions on the package. So I already have a few that are ready to be painted. So once you've got them decorated and baked, the next thing you want to do is you want to make them look antique -y. This is the way I like to do it. You take a sponge and you just cut a piece of sponge off. You take your paints and you just dole out a little bit of paint right here. And um, oh, there's my wire. So I want to show you what I was going to do with the wire. So this wire, you just press it down on the clay. like that. It's just really neat. It looks like grass, sort of. I think it's really interesting. So anyway, let's get back to our paint. So we're going to put paint. Here's some iridescent color, iridescent silver, antique silver. And um, let's do a little bit of this other antique silver. Shake it up and make sure that it's nice and ready to go and squeeze out a little dot there. So now I've got, I've got three different colors that I'm going to use. And that's good enough for now, I think. Okay, so now you've got some color here. And now we're just going to take our sponge. We're going to take a little bit of the paint. And then we're just going to dab it. Dab it onto the tile that we made. And you want to make sure that it gets in the grooves. And if as you can see, this one has a lot of grooves and the sponge isn't quite doing it. That's why you want to have a little paintbrush around. So you just take the paintbrush, you dip it in the paint, and then you just sort of push the paint into the crevices. You want to make sure that it gets all the way in there because you don't want to have any white showing. And now once you've got it painted, you can leave it like that if you want to, but I prefer to wipe it off. Wipe off some of the excess and there it looks kind of antique -y. I'm going to put that down on the table so maybe you can see that better. 
So that's what you want to do with all of them. So I'm going to do a couple with this copper color. Now I'm going to just wipe off the excess paint and that really makes the word stick out a lot, a lot more. All right, now you just keep going with, with the paints. You can try all the different colors. And here's one with a heart. So you can just go crazy with any rubber stamps that you like or buttons. You can use anything. So you want to lay out all of your tiles that you've made on your table. And then you want to come back and get your, your board your box frame, whatever it is that you used, and you want to start placing the items on the box frame. So what you need now is your glue. Now, so when you're laying out your tile mosaic, you want to figure out where things are going to go. So I usually try to start with putting the big pieces in the middle, and then I work from there. I'm going to put the heart here. I like that heart a lot. So I'm going to put that one there, and we're going to put love right above it. And then I'm going to put some of these cool designs that I made right, right next to the heart. And then I have these little pieces that I made with with these little things on it. I don't know what they are, but I thought they were kind of cool. So those are going to go on the sides and that just adds a little bit of bling to it. That's kind of my basic layout. And once you've got that done, you start gluing. pieces down, you want to use some polyurethane, and I use high gloss because that will make it shine, and it really brings out, it brings out the color in the paper. Of course, you want to wait until your glue is dry. You don't want to do this until everything's dry, but I'm just going to do it now so I can show you. And when you put the polyurethane on it, it really brings out the color of the paper, and it brings out the, makes it look finished. That's all the steps that you need to know. Now I'm going to show you, I'm uh, going to give you a chance to really look at the pieces that I finished before so you can see what they look like. And this piece I did a while ago, and you can see that I just found little inter interesting pieces of things in my garage to make these patterns. I just made this little flower shape. This just has dots, and you can do anything. You can insert the beads into the clay. So that's one thing that I, that I did a while ago. And I made another heart theme on this one, as, as I did before. I found a piece of Japanese paper, put that over on the side. I used a key. So you can just leave a little space around the edge to give it some sort of like a border. Here's one more. And again, just different patterns. And this one says peace, so it has different things on it. And in this one, I have two layers of backing. So I hope that you learned a little bit from today's project. And I hope that you'll try it at home, so thank you. Have a good day.